name is Joshua Lisk, and for my final exam project, I did a steam charger that will charge a battery bank, a 12 volt battery bank, which is the same voltage that a car charger runs on. So you can hook up your phone charger while you're like camping or outside, away from a traditional power source. All right, so it's pretty much, this PowerPoint is gonna be broke up into three sections, the background, management, and the design. So my objectives for this project was to make outdoor recreation safer because if you're outside for longer than your battery life, it becomes a risk. If something happens, you have no communication. And then creating the dependable source so that you can charge your phone and giving an alternative to the limited life of battery packs because those are usually only good for one, maybe two charges, which isn't efficient if it's a long-term outing. So. Like I said, I'm using it for a portable charging system and it's powered by steam because when you're camping, what's two things you have? You got heat and you've got water. So you can always make steam to charge your batteries. And the reason I chose this project is because I've been camping since I could walk. And we've always had a problem with phones dying or tablets dying now that we have tablets. And um, that was never a good thing because with a bunch of boys, we somebody always ends up hurt. All right, so what's, they already have a bunch of portable chargers. They have typically their solar or wind, which is one of their flaws because they're dependent on weather conditions to be perfect. And then they also have a smaller battery life and they use a USB charger, which limits it because older phones don't have the USB hookup on their chargers. And then my charger has a larger battery you can recharge it whenever because you're not waiting on the weather to be right. And it connects to a car charger, so you can use USB or the old style car chargers. All right, so my time management, it was broke up into choosing the project, making a rough sketch, designing it in CAD, assembling, correcting and testing, and then my notebook and presentation. So when I got into this, I figured up there's, 80, there's 48 days in a semester. And I, I wanted to make sure that I had enough time, so I planned it for 30, 32. That way, if I was out or Miss Smith was out or something happened, I still had enough time to do it. And my biggest part, of course, was designing it in AutoCAD because there was quite a few pieces. This cost list is if I build the actual design. Um, my biggest reason for not doing this is because of this number right here, which is $287. So thank you to the 3D printers, and that is the biggest reason for the 3D printers, is to be able to build a prototype without spending all of that money. So my cost list ended up at a whopping $16.97, because all I had to buy was the tubing, and I added the cost of one spool of filament. So that's a big difference. It's really great for prototyping. And I had several CAD drawings, but the rest of them are in my notebook. But this was the cylinder for the piston. And then that was, that's the bearings. Um, they do print all in one on them printers. You just kind of break the support away. But I found a flaw with that is it leaves a lot of rough edges and makes the bearings have a lot of extra friction. So I would have, next time I would have designed my shaft around, my bearings around the shaft and bought some store-bought ones so that they would glide better. And then there's my piston head. And then I think I have, yep, there's the valve that I used to control the airflow for the piston. And then there is all of the connections. Because they were so small, I figured they needed their own page. All right, so for my calculations, the first ones I did was thermal expansion to make sure that my piston and the cylinder wouldn't lock up with each other with the heat from the steam, which is why I ended up using aluminum and brass because their thermal expansions are similar and the brass, the brass wouldn't scratch the aluminum. And then some more calculations I did was finding the force exerted by the piston at 20 PSI, 
which is the typical running rate for a piston, a, a steam piston that I've seen on the internet. And then the critical load of the valve rod, because that would be one of the first things to break because it has the most pressure on it. And then those are my resources for the my help, Metals Depot, and a couple YouTube videos. All right, do I have any questions? Um, I've looked on YouTube, and there's a bunch of steam pistons already on there, but none of them are for phone chargers. So I looked up ways to charge phones while camping, and I didn't like any of them because they're all dependent on the sun, the wind, or I've seen some now that they're putting in streams. But you, you have to have perfect weather. And something that I noticed with camping is you've always got fire because you're, you're cooking or it's cold and you've got to have water. So that seemed like the most logical way to charge a phone while camping. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, the, I didn't get the generator part, but the piston, the steam would hook up here. I have a boiler design. I just didn't put it in there. And then it would run this cylinder which would turn this shaft where you'd hook up another generator to the battery bank. Any more questions? Um, they actually sell the female adapter for a phone charger online and it hooks right to the battery. Because I'm, I'm, it's, it's designed to charge a 12 volt which is the same voltage as a car outlet. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And the big I checked this one last night to see if it would run, but the same problem Joe had, they're not they're not solid, so you can't put a good finish on it and it and then the bearings have a lot of friction in them. So it spins pretty freely. But with this model, there's just too much friction and it's not smooth enough to too many leaky spots. But, uh, and the cost of each of these would go down, but you can't buy metal in three inch sections. So if you made more of them, it would be cheaper than that $287. Like that. That <laughs> Any more questions? All right, thank you.